Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to work you over on solving the factorial problem using the umpire process. So as always, I copied down the problem as the first step. So let's read the problem. In mathematics, the factorial of an integer n denoted by n exclamation like this is the following product. So n factorial equals one times two times likewise up to n product. For the given integer n, calculate the volume value, sorry, value n factorial. Don't use the math module in this exercise. Okay, so let's first figure out what's given. So the input, a number, right? So, which is the, the one that we have to cal calculate the factorial, okay? And then, then the output, okay? So if this is N, then basically N factorial, okay? Are there any restriction? Yes, we, we don't have, we cannot use math module uh, factorial. Okay, so restrictions and don't use math. Okay, don't use math dot factorial. Okay, so that's the, the math uh, function. Okay, all right. So let's try to break down the problem. So I'm gonna take an example n equals four and I'm going to work it backward, okay? So I'm gonna write it over here, okay? So, so number four, so we have to calculate the, cal the factorial of four, okay? So that means if you use this formula, okay? So it's one times two times three times four, okay? And further we can break it down like this. And if you if you analyze these, basically, right, that's factorial three, okay? So I can write it like factorial three times four, okay? All right, so, so let's now go to number three, okay? So three, the factorials we expect is one times two times three. All right, and that equals two times, right? factorial two times three. All right, and we go to number two. And you can now see where the, this thing go, right? So factorial one time, so one, one time two, and that leads to one factorial times two, okay? Of course, factorial one is one, okay? It's one. So the answer is actually one, okay? So, oops. All right, so let me align these, okay? All right, so now there's a pattern, right? So if we con consider each of this step as I, okay? So the pattern emerges like this, just I over here, okay? So here is I times, so I is two, so I minus one, okay? One factorial, okay? Times I. And here, 
i is 3 so again the same okay so i is equal 3 right so let me write it now over here i okay so i equals 2 and i equals 3 and i equals 4 okay so all right so basically we have the pattern we want okay so now we can all the way go down like we are going to generalize this okay so i equals n and basically one times two times and we have more and times n and basically uh, that gives us n minus one times n And that equals basically i is now n, right? So it's the same pattern. Okay. So that's the pattern we want. And this i is now to carefully check is the iteration number. Okay. So so we basically need this many iterations uh, to land um, um The factorial of that number okay oops i okay all right so so let's now we need to basically find this pattern and this the the pattern that we came up with the iterations gonna go into the the for loop that we're gonna use okay so finding a match we solved um n cube problem it's it's a um kind of a match in here okay so sum of n cubes okay and uh, this is an accumulation this is an accumulation of a multiple okay a product okay and in here it's an accumulation of a sum okay all right so so let's write our plan over here okay all right so the first step input input number okay and then basically we need to create this follow but before that we need to initialize our factorial right so okay init all right factorial okay then number three steps we're going to start our for loop Four. So as usually, always start with the keyword. Okay. In this case, it's a four statement. So start with four. And in English also, it's, it's four. So for all the numbers in a range that we require in this iteration, right? So numbers, right? Up to number, right? Right. So for example, in here, like i equals four. So up to that number, we need to um, generate our iteration, okay? Okay, so next step, we are inside the for loop. So 3.1, okay. And we need to get this product, okay? So basically factorial, So update, okay, factorial, okay. So basically you can probably write something like this, okay. And then basically print last step, print factorial. Right, so let's write our implementation, okay? So 
we need to input okay so n well i'm going to take number right Num number okay equals int input okay all right so um, i usually add the prompt but in code check you cannot do that right so okay all right so now we have the number okay so we need to initialize factorial right so i'm going to take it as the factorial and i'm going to initialize it to zero okay all right so four okay numbers numbers okay in so now see that in in the in the plan it's numbers up to right number that means this number right that means we have to generate a range so we need to use a range function okay so range and it it's the the numbers start from one so so range should start from one okay Oops. one and basically it should go up to number n right so so up to number okay all right so let's see let's use this range for now and what we're going to do is basically we're going to accumulate right so factorial so it's this formula okay so so basically each i is going to be coming from these numbers okay and then then and then there's this formula okay so we need to basically right oops okay so equals factorial times numbers okay All right so this is the this is that previous value of factorial which coming from this and then the next number okay this is the number all right so then we're going to print basically factorial okay all right so let's see if this work okay all right so i'm going to run this so that's the part of the review process okay well when enter now four well i get the answer zero okay and let's see what it is so it's not the answer i'm expecting 24 okay so well the reason is this i i initialize it with the value zero right so this see it's a product so every time it get multiplied multiplied by zero because the starting value is zero so it's obvious the answer is zero so this has to be one if the accumulation is a product okay so so let's run it again Okay, so number four, I'm expecting 24, I get six. All right, so that means basically I get, so if this is uh, for, let me write the values over here. So this is one, this is two, this is six. Sorry, I should have written it already, okay, 24. All right, so I'm stopping right here. So that means basically I need to go one more than over here. Okay, so I'm, I need to include that number. Remember ranges are exclusive. Basically, it's going to give you numbers one less than this number. Okay, so I need to add one more here. So that's all, okay, part of the review, okay. So, so number four, so I get number 24. So if you take number, say five, okay. So let's run one, one more time, okay. Five, I get 120, okay. So it's, it's working. So this is the work 
through video of using umpire process to solve factorial problems.